Okay, this is a quick little video uh, to talk about how you might finish up your black and white. Uh, this is assuming you're not going to colorize it. And of course, we don't have to colorize everything. Sometimes the black and whites look great. I mean, there's a lot of old black and whites that have this sepia tone down here that we like. Let's take this picture, for example. It started with a sepia tone. I finished it up uh, black and white after approving it. So uh, if I look at the, uh, the before and after this picture, uh, it was a low-res picture, so it's not perfect, but you can see the before and after. I did a lot of cleanup work. It may be, though, that you like that old sepia look, and you'd like to get it back. So let's, let's see how we do that, okay? Uh, first of all, uh, I'll go into the Develop module, hit B, and then Develop module. I go down to this little icon down here where I can compare it to another image, drag the sepia tone in there, and now I want to try to set, uh, tone this right image to, to a similar tone as the one on the left, all right? The way to do that simply is using split toning over here. On the right hand side is split toning. Open that up. If you, Nothing happens if, there's, if the saturation is just set at zero. So I can run this set split toning up and down and if the saturation is zero, nothing happens to this picture. If I can run the saturation up in the shadows and the highlights and start to sepia tone the picture. I, I don't have to sepia tone it. I could give different tones, the, sh the shadows and the highlights. So for example, if I wanted red in the shadows and uh, you know, uh, a brown in the highlights, I mean, you can do that and I can balance what shadows and highlights mean by sh uh, taking this back and forth. Let's just get too, too uh, fancy for me right now. What I'm gonna do is just put something, sort of a sepia tone in, 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 the, uh, in the shadows and highlights, so they're both the same. Uh, in fact, I could probably do, uh, take shadows all, all the way out of it uh, and just do the highlights. Uh, put uh, some sepia in there, uh, do a little s uh, saturation. I, I still have it. I actually like the sepia in the new one better than the old. The old one had sort of a, a greenish tone to it. I don't like that as much. Uh, so I, I think maybe a hick. I like this. I did like this look a little bit better. Uh, I can play around back and forth to get it uh, a little bit different. I can go a little bit more green like the other one, uh, or I can go back here. So that's that's basically split toning. Uh, you want to get back from your black and white, the originally converted to black and white, you may want to look like an old sepia picture. That's the way to do it.